associated also with a lot of things that he has been doing. So I'll take a few questions on your behalf so that you can know about the journey very well. Uh, so Vikas, welcome to Chennai at the Palladium and Phoenix Market City Mall today. Uh, what brings you to Chennai today? <laughs> when I left India two and a half, two years ago, I left from Chennai and I was not able to come back because so of the pandemic. But I said, I'm going to go back and this is going to be one of the... This is the first event I'm doing after two and a half, more than two years. This is the first event. So, you know, everyone says that everything that goes comes back. I think he went and he came back to the same place. So, he's starting his India tour after the pandemic again. But it, during the pandemic, there was something that occupied him very, very meaningfully. So, Vikas, if you can talk about Feed India overall. So, um, end of March, we've started getting the news in that there's going to be a pandemic. China, means something is happening. And some cases were getting acknowledged in America. So, an email I see before India, say, and which was like, you know, sometimes you get spam emails, contribute here. It was about old age homes. That, you know, this pandemic, you need food for that. And that's the cause very close to my heart about aging parents. And I'm sure everybody can relate to that here. I see young people. And my age people especially have fear of aging parents. So, I was very scared at that time. And I talked to my team and said, we should do something to get food to India. It seemed to be an impossible mission for the first few weeks. And then it became extremely streamlined. And I think it was one of the biggest, biggest projects of my life. And I'm proud that my mom slapped me on 11th April. And it was a phone kiya. I said, Mom, I can't be running this initiative because it's very difficult. I'm too much in different time zone. And I had too much of work at that time. So my mom said, that's OK. You should give up. It's great. I'm like, OK, fantastic. Then I shouldn't be doing it. She's saying, give up. Because, you know, all your life, you've used everything what belongs to India. Your cooking, your skills, your face, everything is Indian. And today, when India needs you, you want to give up. So I don't have to tell anyone that my son is a patriot. <clears throat> that really shook me apart. And I said, I will do anything in my strength, in my power, resources. And I'm going to not give up, but continue to do it. And till now, we've served almost 70 million meals during the last two years, and I'm very proud of it. Thank you. Step into Chennai. I am obsessed with all utensils. <laughs> <laughs> and wherever I go, I have to, and you know, if, if I have to be careful because I've almost like I need to, th if they don't sell it, I get upset. Because I feel that, you know, I can give better home to things. And so it's very good that, you know, many times when I come to Chennai, there's so many people who bring in their old family heritage stuff, and they give it to me because they feel that I can put it in the museums, I can put it in a showcase to the best possible way in my restaurants so that the legacy lives on. Because I feel that this part of the country was really evolved of thinking about metal, about senses, about Ayurveda, about cooking styles was so deep here. So I feel that I feel that I'm blessed in some way. And that is one of my biggest things. Addiction I miracle. And I'm glad that I've used it in a positive sense. You know, people actually think about uh, our food in Chennai to be very stereotypical. But the truth is that it is massive. That, you know, we've just had a lunch in Dakshin, which is one of my favorite restaurants in South. And I do feel that it has still not been explored. From 2008 till 2012, I used to come to Chennai every year in the second week of May to go to Kuvagam to attend the festival. At the transgender festival which happens there. For four years, I've documented their food. And I think one of the greatest things which I was addicted to them was a millet ke drink pilti at the right at the entrance. And that is amazing. It's a sweet drink, but it's also little, they add little salt on top. It's of course to beat the heat and everything, and it's very therapeutic. But it was one of my favorite things to drink here. And today, when you enter Dakshin, they made the same millet drink. Perfect. And because what brings you to this mall all the time, every year? <laughs> It's a very unique combination of India and the West. If you look at the mall and the stores and the brands which are here, you will see that it is such a great combination. When you go to some of the malls in bigger cities in Delhi or Bombay, it just focuses on the Western brands. It's very westernized. But here it's such a mix of the local 
and the domestic and of course the international which gives us such a big combination of having the choices for the customers who come to this mall. I have not been paid to say this but I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Any questions anybody has? We have somebody who is wanting to give you a hamper if we can have a stay. Uh, outside India, they call this the Indian vegan marshmallow because of the rasmalai flavor, which is very unique uh, for a marshmallow. And we have other clean label candies as well. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, we about it all the time now, especially in the last two years, we have millions of chefs with pandemic, and we should thank them now. So I got a question. Uh, and fa being faithful, they had passed the test, so you value them even more. And kids feel that, you know, as they grow bigger, they're going to have more people in their life, which happens to all of us, and it's good. But we also start testing people, and we feel that, you know, asli sona hai was Right, Chris? Right, it? Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Madhuraj. I am from Jonath Gazanayi. Jonath Gazanayi. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you. You have done on three dishes. Yes, correct. I think my brother is Madam Dhar. I think I told you. Taco Indian style or Mexican style? Yes. Yes. With the Indian touch. This is amazing. Badam and Babala. Yeah. 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 From continental cooking, which is white sauce, which is vegetable sauce, spinach and cheese, salt, pepper. This is our version of it. Cream, badam, dough, butter, sugar, sugar. This is brilliant. It's like a prasad. Cigar, and then you burn it, and the smoke goes inside the food. Same thing in the 